Here's a list of the things you need to do before you get out of the US military if you're planning on applying for a service-connected disability. And really, this is good for anyone who's in right now so you know this before you get out. As a person who struggled when you first got out, like I did, I put this list together so that you could apply for things and it's not just this horrible experience, okay? Number five, make sure 90 to 180 days before you get out, you get your BDD, your benefits delivery at discharge claim done. Talk to your chain of command so you can get that done before you get out. You might be able to get benefits the minute you walk out the door. Number four, ensure that your DD-214 is accurate. You can go to your administrative department and ask them for an advanced copy of your DD-214 so you can check it for accuracy. I can't stress this enough. I've seen wrong social security numbers, names misspelled. You don't even want to know what it takes to get this fixed. You only get one DD-214 for every time you're active. So you, you will have a lifetime of problems if this isn't accurate or if things are off of it. So demand that it's perfectly accurate and everything's on there. Number three, have at least two copies of your medical record with you. You want to send one to mom, dad, whoever, a safe place, and the one you keep with you. Now, this isn't the one you're going to turn in. You make copies so that if it's lost, burnt, and all these other things that have happened to veterans I've seen in the past, you have a copy with you and at a safe place in case that one's lost too. Number two, ensure that your medical and military records are accurate and up to date. If you served somewhere and it's not documented, get a page 13 entry. If you were at a command and the dates are wrong, they don't line up, get it fixed. You wanna do this all before you get out. Because when you walk out that door with your DD-214 and you try to come back, well, we have an expression for it. When you're there, you're a guest. When you leave and come back, you're a pest. They're not gonna wanna deal with you, trust me. And number one, ensure that all your health conditions have been documented. We all know the doc who's like, yeah, hey, yeah, no big deal, I'm not gonna document it, go ahead, just take some aspirin. No, 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 doc. I want my stuff documented. All these veterans who write in, they had knee and back pain and they didn't get it documented and hurt now, avoid that mistake yourself. Learn from our mistakes. So that's my checklist. I got more stuff. Keep looking out for me and I'm gonna give you more facts and less fiction.